boy. Oh, we got some compelling news. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All Hello, right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some dope 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 news items for this video before we get started with anything give it a thumbs up let's eradicate the like button right now also make sure you subscribe to the channel for the giveaways let's get to the news Furukawa is talking next gen Nintendo. That and a whole lot more in his latest interview from Japanese publication Nikkei. This is coming from NintendoEverything.com. Furukawa says Nintendo wants to work on its main franchises as well as new IP. So they want to do both main franchises new ips we'll probably talk about that a little later in the video but this is what i want to focus on they're constantly thinking about ideas for new consoles first he said that and this is this is what his exact quote is saying all right he said that games must be interesting um um, Nintendo doesn't simply want to rest on the floor, so it wants to continue supporting its well-known franchises while also supporting new games and new series. So they want both, old and new, but it's the hardware that they're constantly thinking about ideas for new consoles. So they're always thinking about ideas, what are they going to do next with their new consoles? Although many ideas are difficult to realize he says the company invests in resources in cases in case any of these ideas become feasible in the future so they have a million ideas working on at the same time and whichever one sticks that's what they go with sort of makes sense but it's interesting to see his perspective on their take on what they're doing next and their planning and thought process for next gen hardware Here's my thing, in 2021, I think most gamers like the Switch, like the whole Switch concept, but they just want something more powerful. They want a powerful Switch. I just want to be able to run third-party games, NBA 2K at 60 frames per second, Nintendo. Can your 2K be on par with what PlayStation, what they're giving PlayStation and Xbox? That's what's been lacking. And so, that and they're working on new IPs. I think their, their last popular blockbuster new IP has been Splatoon. During the Wii U era, Splatoon came out. And I think Splatoon 2 on the Switch has sold over 11 million, which is... Um, that's pretty good. And so, it's good to see Nintendo's working on a combination of both. But bro, speaking of new IPs... PlayStation London, next, this is the next news item. PlayStation London, PlayStation London Studio is actively hiring for a brand new PlayStation 5 IP. This is coming from PlayStationLifestyle.net. And there were original rum rumblings that this London studio was working on a virtual reality version of Horizon Zero Dawn, but um the job listing that was just listed indicates that that studio is no longer involved in that project and the new job listing according to this article published by playstation london studio reveals that the developer is working on a brand new playstation 5 ip this is the um, direct quote we're really excited to open this hire for an experienced online gameplay designer because it's a role of crucial importance to the new PlayStation 5 project we are working on at London Studio. This gets me excited, bro. Because we all know 
Lately, Xbox has been stealing the headlines, acquiring Bethesda, um, Game Pass stuff. But I, I, I had to remind you guys, Sony is still outselling them two to one as far as consoles. And they still have control over the gaming market like they've had for the past five or so generations. And so um, I can't wait to see what the new IPs are. Cause I, and I said this before, even with the Bethesda acquisition, I will take Sony's first party studios over Xbox by a mile, bro. Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Horizon, Uncharted, um, the new, we can't, I can't wait to see what the new Gran Turismo 7 is going to look like. But Sony has those IPs, bro. Sack Boy, A Big Adventure was a dope game on the PlayStation 5. So can't wait to see an all new IP is in the work by PlayStation, which should be fire. Speaking of fire, next news item. 2K, WWE. 2K22 has been announced. We have some more Nintendo Switch news, some shocking Nintendo Switch news next. But first, let's talk about this W2K22. All new trailer was revealed at WrestleMania 37. This is a gameplay teaser. They showed a glimpse of the gameplay. And I have to say, it looks dope, but... This is going to be the first time the game is on next-gen hardware, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X. So hopefully we can see significant graphical improvement um, from last generation, even in the gameplay. Games like NBA 2K, there was a bump up in graphics from last gen to this gen. So let's see if um, wrestling can follow the fold. But all new trailer wwe 2k22 let's get it next news item bro we got some more switch news and all of the talk lately has been console shortages for sony and xbox it looks like nintendo is about to feel it too going into the latter end of 2021 according to furukara nintendo's global president Switch hardware shortage is possible later this year, and he cites semiconductors, the same part that's been plaguing shortages of the PlayStation 5 Xbox Series X, looks like also will be hitting Nintendo later this year. And he low key hinted to a Switch Pro, bro. If they're going to be ramping, well, they usually ramp up productions at the end of the year anyway for the holiday season. But if they're going to be producing an all new hardware or new hardware, they're going to need those parts. And it looks like Nintendo towards the end of the year may be hit by the semiconductor global shortage. That's not just affecting um, consoles, computers, anything that requires microprocessing has been affected by this shortage and the last news item one of my new favorite games outriders um the developers have announced outriders crossplay is now fully functional there's still been hiccups and issues shout out to the homie l every time he sent me a friend request on the xbox i can't i, I accept it on my playstation 5 but it still doesn't show that we're friends so i'm gonna test it out tonight i will be on my gaming channel playing Outriders, Call of Duty, NBA 2K with the sponsors, bruh. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right, I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice, Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter, at Obi-Wan Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway, but wait, 
there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Peace.